What is the number one thing for weight loss? So you may want to grab a pen and a paper. I'm going to share with you a couple things about what is the number one thing for weight loss. Well, the number one thing I feel like that is the most important for weight loss is to have a clear, specific goal. Know exactly what it is you want to achieve. It's very important that you dial it down to the very, the more detailed you can be with your goals, the better. So let's Let's do a little exercise here for you. And this doesn't just have to be for weight loss, just maybe being the best that you can be. When it comes to the number one thing you can do, so you think about this, do this little exercise, and you may want to grab a pen and a paper. If you could wave a realistic magic wand and you could have your body, your health, your energy, any kind of way you wanted it to be, say over the next six months to a year, what would that be like for you? Think about that. If you could have it any kind of way you wanted, would you have more muscle? Would you have less fat? Would you, what, what, what would it be? What, would you have more energy and be more vibrant? What would it, what, if you could have it any kind of way you wanted, what is that for you? Dial it in, dial it in. Now, and just for fun, consider writing your goal out every day. Well, write it out and then say it every day verbally out loud. Tw at least twice a day and then put it in the present tense. So consider, consider writing it like this. I am happy and grateful now that I am and then state your goals. Does that make sense? So just write that out just like it's just like I just said it. If you're open to trying this exercise, I am happy and grateful now that I am and then state your goal. Like for example, I'm 170 pounds. My goal is to be my best, I'd love to be 190 pounds, same body fat, right? So that's so this this is my goal, and this is how I write it out. I am happy and grateful now that I am 190 pounds at six or seven percent body fat, feeling strong and healthy like a supple leopard. So think about how a supple leopard would feel. So that's you know I've been feeling not as supple as I've been wanting to, so I'm trying to create that energy into my life. So I say I'm. I am happy and grateful now that I am 190 pounds, 6 or 7% body fat, feeling strong and healthy like a supple leopard. And then you can even go on and say other things about your goals. So that's a that's the number one thing you can do. Dial it down, be clear and specific, and then back it up. I'll briefly share with you the fundamentals because I want you to know what the truth is when it comes to your health and fitness goals. The truth is you must follow these five fundamentals of fitness, proper training, nutrition, recovery, supplementation, and mindset. I do a complimentary phone consultation to cover all this with anybody who's interested. It's a complimentary consultation by phone, my con or Zoom, my contact information and if you're interested in that, right? So so that's something to think take you through this exercise. But and just teach you these five fundamentals. And this is what I coach on. So if we were working together, I'd be coaching you on these five elements every time we met. But these are the five elements, so you might want to write them down, or the five fundamentals. And that's proper training, nutrition, recovery, supplementation, and mindset. Now briefly, when it comes to training, you want to have some sort of muscle stimulation and some sort of cardiovascular stimulation. That's just, that's the basics, basics, basics. Some kind of muscle, whether whatever it is you do, stimulate your muscles and stimulate your cardiovascular system. You can do way more than that, but that's just something to get you started. Nutrition. Say for imagine for a moment that we're trying to build a two-story house from scratch, and imagine if we only have half the materials necessary to build the house. How far are we going to get? You're trying to build this house, but you only have half the materials necessary to build the house. How far are you going to get? About halfway, right? So the foods that you and I eat on a daily basis are the supplies that goes towards, towards creating that house, right? And there's different ways to look at it. I recommend a whole food, a whole food plant-based diet. I am personally vegan, and that, but, but also you can be whole food plant-based diet and vegan. And we can talk about the differences because it can be a little bit confusing, but just think about when it comes to just diet and your health, that whole food plant-based is what I would be recommending. Two documentaries I consider to you to watch is 
The Game Changers, and Forks Over Knives. So those are two documentaries you can study on your own. And then also, too, is I feel like it's important for me that, that the way we eat does affect us and then everything in three different ways. It affects us physically, what we eat, our health. It affects the environment, and it affects animals. Currently, most people don't even know, but there are millions and billions of animals being tortured and killed unnecessarily when we don't even have to eat like that. It's just like it's old school. It's like old, like in the past, right? So these are just things. Let's let's look forward and, and look what's what's really healthy, and let's learn to eat what's best for our health, for the environment, and for all right, all, everybody, the animals too, right? So those are some things to, to consider when it comes to nutrition. Recovery, sleep approximately seven and a half to seven hours of sleep a night. Over the last five years, I've trained three different neurologists and they all say their sleep studies show that seven and a half to nine hours per night is what's recommended for optimal health. Supplements, we want to supplement intelligently. There are nutritional supplements, and there are enhancement performance supplements. It's important to understand the difference and to choose what's best for you. And the last but not least is the mindset. So remember we had training, nutrition, recovery, supplementation, and mindset. The mindset, that's where I want you to consider writing your goals, writing your goals out in the present tense, and then saying them every day to yourself. I do it at least twice a day, in the morning and in the evening, I am happy and grateful now, if you're writing it down, I am happy and grateful now, I'm happy and grateful now, I'm happy and grateful now, that I am 190 pounds, feeling at 6 or 7% body fat, feeling strong and healthy, like a supple leopard, so put yourself in that position, I am happy and grateful now, you are happy and grateful now, that I am, and then state your goal. All right, so I hope that helps. Some things to think about when it comes to the number one thing to do for weight loss. And then another thing you can do is to reach out to me for a complimentary phone or a Zoom call so I can share I can share more about these five fundamentals and then find out more about you specifically because everybody is different and has their own individual situations. So I'd love to connect with you. So please consider reaching out. Let's, let's do this. Reach out to me right now. Connect with me if you feel it in your heart that it's time to reach out. This is something you've been looking for, someone to connect with, to how you can reach your goals. Uh, my information's inside of the, of, the, of the description of this video. All right, that's it for now. So number one thing you can do for weight loss is have a clear, specific goal, and then have a, then next, have a plan, and then take action on the plan. See you on the next lesson.